Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay Matt and today I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I've learned about my skin within the last few months. It is July now and um, since December I started kind of having small breakouts and then it kind of gone to like crazy breakouts and then my skin would get really really good and then after that it'll just kind of like come back and like i know the reason now i know what's going on i've learned my lesson now i learned my lesson now okay all the breakout that's on my cheek i learned my lesson okay so number one i just kind of want to talk a little bit about my skin type so i've treated my skin as if it was dry combination because that's just how it seemed like certain spots would be pretty oily and then other spots would just be like like dry like a drought when i went to um my esthetician she actually told me that i am oily oily to normal skin wow oily. what what okay <laughs> okay anyway i still treat my skin like it is dry because um i would rather have more hydration in my products than to um not so um yeah it's not gonna do anything i talked to my esthetician about it she's like it's, it's fine um as long as you're still getting giving your skin that care it's it's fine um so yeah to just get that part out of the way the other thing is my skin is very sensitive it is no 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 not just very sensitive it is very sensitive it is very like triggered by anything and everything um and hmm, mm, uh, basically um in december i've learned that i need to stop putting biotin in my diet um i have like multivitamins hair care vitamins and just like bi biotin as itself in december i bought the liquid biotin because um i saw a few reviews on it and um a lot of people break out to biotin so um a few people were talking about how the liquid biotin didn't actually break them out so i was like ah so that must be for me so i got it and no no it didn't do like the crazy breakouts it did like the small you know small small like tiny like bumps kind of like a a heat rash almost on your face um and honestly like i was like no let me just drink some water because like i felt like maybe i just had to balance it out but then i just was like all right never mind let's just not do this let's just leave the biotin alone but that's not what i did because i'm very stubborn and i just don't do what i'm supposed to do so i didn't leave the biotin alone and i went for a multivitamin that had biotin in it because um obviously like you have to take a vitamin so i was like i'm gonna take a multivitamin i mean i feel like you can never get away from biotin unless you take vitamins alone like specific vit vitamins that you need just take them alone basically what i learned is that i need to just leave the biotin alone and just use the vitamins that i know are going to be good for me so I'm using vitamin A. I haven't started with my vitamin D3, which my mom, ew, thank God she doesn't watch my videos because if she heard that, she'd be like, what's wrong with you? Um, we've been taking vitamin D3 for the longest time, so I just I don't, don't tell her that I stopped taking it and I haven't taken it in a while. But um, yeah, so vitamin D3 is on the way though. I'm, I'm, I bought it, it's in, it's in the mail, it's on its way. Um, so the vitamin D3 is on the way um, and then vitamin C is also going to be put in my diet. It's not in my diet right now because um, it's also on the way. <laughs> when I stopped taking the biotin um, for the last time because I just, I, you know, I just can't, I just can't get enough biotin. Um, when I stopped taking biotin for the last time, my esthetician saw a big difference um, and it was only within like a month time and like she looked at my skin under the light and she was like, what are you doing? Your skin looks so good. And I'm like, I stopped taking biotin. And so she was like, mind blown. Like, 
what? That's what's been doing this to your skin? Like, do you know? Like, you probably don't know because you're not, like, in my position where I'm looking underneath the light and I can see that you have crazy inflammation. She was like, it was a good idea that you took out biotin because it just wasn't for you. Biotin is now strictly out of the diet, just not putting it back in. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna try the liquid one because people said that it's better for them. Because it's better for them, it's not better for me. Um, yeah, we're just gonna stay away from biotin. I really do wanna try biotin one more time and see if it really is the problem. But that's just the part of me that doesn't learn. Like, just, just stay away, stay away. The second thing that I have learned, <sighs> I need to stop, just stop trying new products just because someone else said that it works. You know what I mean? Like not just stop trying new products because obviously I would wanna try new products. I just have to remind myself not to put it all over my face. Just try it on a small spot and you know, hopefully that'll just kind of like be better. But the thing with my skin is when I try a product, it doesn't break out right then and there. It takes a few days or it takes a few tries um, to actually like show an actual breakout. Like it doesn't like I I don't break out that day or I don't like I don't know I, my skin doesn't react that moment or like the next day. It doesn't like the next day I wake up with a pimple. Like that's not, <laughs> that's not what it is. So I tried a product that was recommended by a friend and you know, she has sensitive skin too, but not as sensitive as mine. I was like, yeah, this is it. Like reading reviews, it sound really good. And you know, I was like, let me just try it. Let me do that, let me try it. And instead of trying it on one spot, like I said, it doesn't really matter if I do try it on one spot because I tried it and it was fine. And I tried it again, and it was fine. I think I tried it again, and it was fine. And then the next time I tried it, the next time I tried it, my face started crying for help. Like, it was really like, no, why did you do that? Like, screaming buddy murder. Like, it was that bad. And I was like, oh, we gotta go back to the store. We're taking this back right now. But the thing is, I didn't learn my lesson beforehand like just stop trying new products because sometimes what works for you is all you need like sometimes what's good for you is just good for you and leave it at that um and that's the reason why i broke out the first time i literally stopped using a product that i knew worked for me and the moment i stopped using it and tried something else it was just like <laughs> like just so bad and I always think about that like why do I do this to myself so overall I have learned that um, what you put in your body internally will affect what you see externally so this outer layer is going to really show what's going on inside and um, inside sometimes you think you're doing what's right in my case using biotin and that's for me not for everybody because a lot of people have gray skin and they can have the worst diet they can have the like they can just do whatever they want and it'll still be good for them however for me even when i'm trying to be healthy sometimes things just don't work sometimes it could be the amount that you're taking in it could be just not enough water that you're taking in. I'm not an expert on this, but I do feel like that is something that I have learned recently. The other thing is stop trying so many different things because it's just not always going to be the thing that's for you. It's not always going to be perfect for your skin just because your friend didn't have a bad reaction to it doesn't mean you're not. I would just do a small spot and just continuously do that small spot a few days because for me, um, my breakout is not gonna like come right after I use it. Like it's going to be a few days later and then I'll be like, oh no, like okay, no, this is not for me. But it could also be that like maybe you're trying a lot of things together that don't go together. 
So um, just kind of researching the different types of things that can kind of go together. My esthetician said like don't try too many things at once. So at the time I was using um, Dermalogica daily microfoliant and that is something that they've used on my skin so I figured like it's not gonna affect my skin in a negative way because they already used it um but that could also have been something that kind of like you know trying too many things at once or trying too many new things at once could um have a negative effect um or just just trying new things all the time like just just sometimes give your face a break because your face doesn't need all of that extra like stuff and like sometimes the stuff can be too harsh on your skin um just kind of like for me i already know my skin is very very sensitive just use what works for you um and stop putting too many products into your skincare if it's not needed so that concludes this video i am going to keep you posted on the vitamins that i do choose to use instead of biotin after i see um results with like vitamins i'm gonna kind of like tune back in and let you guys know um how how my skin is doing because right now i am um still recovering from a breakout so i have a breakout on my cheek and a little bit still here it's not that bad here um and on my forehead it's just like very reduced also um but i think there is like maybe like one or two on my forehead i don't I don't want to touch my skin but yeah I don't remember <laughs> I was gonna be like hold on let me see what's on my skin where's the texture at um, but you can definitely see the texture with makeup so yeah it should be like here and then like I think some here and then like there thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more bye <laughs>